In this video, I want to show you how to encrypt the data on your Mac computer using FileVault. FileVault is a native Mac OS functionality, so you don't have to install any third-party software. It encrypts your startup disk so that unauthorized users cannot gain access to your information, for instance, if you lost your Mac. Before we begin, please make sure that your Mac is plugged into a power source and that you are logged into your Mac with an administrator user. To enable FileVault for your startup disk, click on System Preferences and then click on Security and Privacy. You need to click the lock on the bottom left corner here to unlock the settings, so click on it and enter the password for the user. By the way, the user that will implement FileVault should be an administrator of your Mac computer, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Click on Lock. And here you need to click on Turn on FileVault. When you click on Turn on FileVault, you have two options to unlock your disk and reset your login password if you forget it. The first option is using an iCloud account and the second option is using a recovery key that will be generated when you click continue if you select it. You can choose the option you want depending on your preferences. So I'm going to show you both options. The first one is allow my iCloud account to unlock my disk. This is of course if you're using an iCloud account on your Mac computer. When you select it, click on continue. And you see here that the encryption begins and it says that the recovery key has been set. So here, depending on the volume of your startup disk and on the data on it, the encryption might take a while. This is a new Mac, so the encryption will not take very long for me. It is very important that you do not interrupt the encryption while it is going on. Otherwise, you may corrupt your startup disk and you won't have access to your Mac anymore. So even if it takes long, just wait for it to finish. And you see that the encryption finished and now FileVault is turned on on your startup disk and the unlock in case you forgot your password is done using your iCloud account. Now that I covered the option to use the iCloud account, I'm going to cover the option to create a recovery key and do not use the iCloud account. You can choose this option, for instance, if you don't have an iCloud account or simply because you don't want to use your iCloud account to reset the password in case you forgot it. So I'm going to click on Create a Recovery Key and do not use my iCloud account. Click on Continue. And here's the recovery key generated. Make sure you write it somewhere and put it in somewhere safe. Of course, don't save it on your Mac computer because if you lose your password and you cannot gain access to your Mac computer, you won't be able, of course, to gain access to the recovery key and you will lose all your files. So make sure you write it down somewhere and put it somewhere safe. So after you write down your recovery key, click on continue and the encryption will start. So now your disk is encrypted and in case you lose your password, you need the recovery key to reset the password. Now, if you no longer want the disk to be encrypted for any reason, you can decrypt it. So let me show you how to decrypt it. Open System Preferences. Click on Security and Privacy. And then click on the lock to unlock the settings. Put the password. Of course, you need to be an administrator to disable 5V. And then click on Unlock. And here simply click Turn off FileVault. Click on Turn off Encryption in the Confirmation dialog box. And you'll see now that the decrypting will start. And as with the encryption, you shouldn't turn off your Mac while the decryption is in progress. And when the decrypting finishes, you see here that it says 5V is turned off for the disk. 
and here the turn off becomes turn on once again. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.